What's up, folks? So I'm going to tell you a story as I walk here. See, this story is about one of my football players. His name's Anthony. And Anthony didn't think that he could go any further. This literally happened uh, just the other day. We were doing gassers. So you had to run from one side of the football field to the other. And down and back, down and back was one. And these guys, they had four of them. They had four of them. Anthony's a big boy. Anthony ran down and back, down and back. He came to the sidelines and he's like, oh, I can't, I can't. He could barely breathe. He could barely breathe. And he's like, coach, I can't. Coach, I can't, my asthma. Coach, I can't, my asthma. So I, so I stood there and I thought, I was like, am I gonna kill this child? Or am I gonna uh, push him a little bit further and see if he can at least do another one? And if he, and if he can't, then that's okay because I don't really want him to pass out and die. But I want him to at least test those waters and at least see if he can. So, I was like, Anthony, you can do this. You got this, it's all in your head, you got this. And he's like, Coach, I can't. I was like, don't tell me that can't word. You can't, it's in your head. Do this, next one, you got this. So, all the other kids were listening and they heard what I said to him. So, he did the next one. He went down and back, down and back. Now, he's just chugging even more air. He's halfway done. He's chugging even more air. And at this point, he's like, Coach, oh, I can't. And I was like, Anthony, get up off your knees. Get your hands above your head. He's like, I can't breathe. I'm like, just slow your breathing down. Just calm down a little bit. You're going to be okay. Just focus. Just focus. Now, the kids were listening to everything I'm saying. So at this point, a couple of kids came up and they said, Come on, Anthony. You got this. We're a team. And... He put his helmet back on, and through that, through my, what I was saying, and through those couple teammates that came over to him for encouragement, he went and went down and back, down and back. We are done with three. At this point, Anthony is doing freaking amazing. But he's dying. <laughs> but he's absolutely dying. He can't breathe at all. And every time he comes back to me, he's like, Coach, I can't. And this last time he came back to me, he only said, I can't one more time. I was like, Anthony, you got this. That's all I had to say because the teammates, everybody else around him, they had been listening in to all these other times. His teammates got him. His teammates came around him and they're like, Anthony, you got this. We got one left. Come on, we're a team. We are doing this. You are finishing this. And guess what? Anthony finished the gassers. Now he's a big boy. This is a boy that's pushing 300 pounds and he, we need him. We need his air, we need his body. We don't need him to pass out and die in the football field. But what he needed to do was push past that mental block, push past that mental wall that was happening right there and push himself a little bit further and a little bit further. And guess what he did it? He did it. And he wouldn't have done it on his own. If I didn't start off side by saying, come on Anthony, you're not done. You're not, you're not, you're not quitting on me. You're not quitting on me and you're not quitting on yourself. He wouldn't even have got that far. There's no way. And if his teammates wouldn't have rallied around him and said, come on, Anthony, we're a team. You got this. And they believed in him. So he would believe in himself in the end. He wouldn't have got through that. You see, sometimes we have to push past that mental block because that mental wall, it'll, it'll literally say, you don't need to do anymore. You're tired. Just quit. Your mind's forever going to give out before your body will. So no matter what you're facing today, whether it's a relationship thing, no matter if it's in the gym thing, no matter if it's just a, phys it's a, it's a physical thing in any sport, no matter if it's in your workplace, no matter if it's in your school, don't give up, don't quit, don't give in too early. Push past that mental wall. This is my voice telling you that you can. Yes, you can get through it. Yes, you can make it. Yes, you can succeed. Don't quit because it's hard. Don't quit because it's rough. Don't quit. Get a reward from it. You are worth more than just somebody that just wants to just start something and then just quit. Nothing ever, ever, ever got accomplished by somebody quitting because something was hard. Most of the time, people quit be right before the blessing is there. It's like there's like just a little bit you gotta push past and then this huge breakthrough will happen. But people quit right before they get there because it's too hard, because it's too much stress, because of this, because of that. Don't quit today. If you're being tested, then um, finish that test and give your best 
possible effort. And your best possible effort isn't saying, okay, I'm done. If you can actually physically say that, then you're just like, oh, I'm done. If it's not taking everything out of you, you then that means you still have something to give. So, whether it's a gym thing, whether it's a relationship thing, whether it's a school thing or a sports team thing, be like Anthony in the fact that even though he wanted to give up, he didn't. He didn't give up on me, he didn't give up on his teammates, and he didn't give up on himself. He pushed through it even though it sucked, and he got through those horrible gassers. Push through your horrible gassers today. Push through your wall. Push through whatever the heck you're going through. You can, you will, and you are going to accomplish it. You're going to achieve more than you even potentially can, can conceive in your mind. But you gotta keep putting one foot in front of the other. No matter what, the end, okay? But just wanted to have that story time with you and encourage you today. So please share this video. Like and subscribe. This is Woo Fit.